I'm not going to worry about the length of this video. If it is too long, I'm going to leave a link to a summary post I'm making for the AMC Stock subreddit. And I just encourage you to go to that link, and, and I have some of my charts there. Maybe it'd be good to look at them in that context, too. You can kind of see my material, reference the website, do some review, or you can watch the video. My weekly chart features an ugly double bottom, and it's ugly because one bottom is higher than the other. The double bottom confirms when the price rises above 52.79. Obviously, we haven't reached that level yet. I do have some price targets that we're going to see along the line that would, if achieved, confirm this level. So at the moment, this pattern is sitting here waiting for confirmation. It is bullish, though, in nature. The target is quite nice, up at $86.01. That's higher than I had it before. When I was doing this chart, I did make some small revisions to kind of make it more precise or accurate. And that's where I'm at. I'm taking this, these drawings off of my daily chart and just putting on my weekly to help clean my charts up and make things a little more clear. So that said, it's time to move on to the daily chart. I cleaned up my charts and my daily chart is looking a lot better now. I've started using these circles to show when a chart pattern interacts with the price as support or resistance. I think it's valuable. It makes those points more visible. And I'm starting to do it across all of my charts. And when things start to get a little cluttered, I'm using this color coding, and I hope that works. Looking at this symmetrical triangle, I think to myself, I am not sure what's going to happen next. That's all there is to it. If the price comes down and does not find support, after these two fake outs, this third move outside of this pattern is probably going to be respected. The downside target for this triangle is $29.08. This is below my the, the new floor in the $33 range. I don't know what's going to happen if we leave this triangle. The volume has been decreasing, and the RSI has been a really wishy-washy throughout the pattern. The MACD, also, it's the same. The waves are getting shorter, and the overall height is being reduced and getting closer and closer to neutral. This is a hard pattern to read. All it says is that the price is consolidating. So it won't be too much longer before something happens. And given that tomorrow is a holiday, I think Friday is going to be kind of interesting. Checking the progress on my four hour chart, you will see the last Today, the last two four-hour candles brought the price back within the downward channel, shown in pink. We did have a partial decline, and that was a bullish signal. The price left and closed above outside the channel. That was a bullish signal. And not only that, but the, the closing price was also above the confirmation level of another double bottom, which is shown in yellow here. And this was another reason to be bullish and rationally so. Statistically, that these two patterns played out in this way would be very, very bullish. Very bullish. The target for the double bottom was up at $51.40. And it remains there. This pattern is not busted yet. Not until the price closes below the previous two bottoms. There is a very strong chance that we're going to see a period of consolidation. A handle forming off of the top of the uh, confirmation price there. And I, I don't know what, what form or shape it's going to take, but it, it's going to happen. The price could stay in that area for quite a while too. If someone's trying to drag out this pattern from playing, it's working. Looking at this chart is confusing. Focus on the yellow colors and, and labels currently. So I see a head and shoulders top forming. This peak being a shoulder, a head, and then I would expect to see another shoulder. It's possible this peak isn't even a shoulder. It could just be this area down here. This was um, a run and an appendant kind of form that I, I had a hard time identifying. It's possible that it's a shoulder, and that would make it kind of hard to look like a pennant. Nonetheless, it had that shape. So this could be the shoulder, and maybe we saw the shoulder yesterday and today on, on, the, on, the other, on the other side of the head. That would make this yellow line a neckline. Now these two, these two peaks, when charted together, 
with a trend line, and these two bottoms similarly, and now it's three, this forms a broadening top. The broadening top, unlike the head and shoulders top, has an upside and a downside price target, which is good if you're uh, looking for reasons to be bullish. <laughs> it's not as likely to reach this level uh, up here. It's more likely the price will fall down to the lower target. So let's run through these. The upper broadening top target is $52.08, and that is near where some of the other price targets were for the double bottom on my 4-hour chart. So that's why I'm so bullish, is because these, these, pa these patterns, if one of them plays out, then there's going to be this, this, this effect where the next pattern, the next pattern will also play out. What's interesting is I see this as a topping pattern, but I also see the a, a complex inverted head and shoulders forming, which is confusing. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and you can kind of get an idea of what that would look like. I, I drew this line before market closed today, so... And let's see, that would make a double top that day, so maybe it doesn't double top, maybe it just... wishy-washies. That looks good. <laughs> and I'm going to take a moment and show you just how wild the price has been. Again, I just look at the charts and tell you what I see. What I don't judge what's there, I just observe it and report. I've labeled this chart heads and shoulder chaos, and you're going to see three head and shoulder patterns. I have them different colors. The first is blue, the second's yellow, and the third is this pinkish color? Salmon, maybe? I don't know. And m maybe this shoulder isn't that high. Maybe that, that, that price is just an outlier. And um, there we go. It's down here. This is the shoulder to be opposed to this shoulder here, which I can't move because I don't know what happens sometimes. When I click around too much, it breaks. So this one would be a top, this one would be a bottom, and this one would be a top. That That's confusing. What's the price doing? It really is kind of just coiling up. We're too high, we're too low, we're too high. We'll see what shapes up in the coming week. With a holiday this week, it's going to be very interesting. I'm looking at the New York Stock Exchange website and I have their holiday hours here, and it doesn't actually look like Veterans Day is is uh, going to close the markets. Labor Day, Thanksgiving, not Veterans Day, which is interesting because it is a federal holiday and banks will be closed. So to have a trading day where banks are closed should really make things interesting, especially given settlement dates. I'm not certain, but I think things are about to get absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Moving down to the one minute chart, I have these purple lines, and they are the retracement levels from uh, the run that formed this pennant, or shoulder, whatever it was. And today we saw the price start with the gap down, bounce up, consolidate at that region, move up, come down, and then, once again, consult no, it didn't really even consolidate. It came down, it bounced, and it just cut through it. And we settled lower today, giving us that red bearish candle. So let's take a peek at after hours. I don't look at after hours often, but I got a glance before I started making this video, and I actually want to see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Ready? Whoa. Jeez. Louise. Holy cow. 38 down to 36. $2? Is that $2? 36, 35, 38, 28. This is $2. A $2 drop in after hours? That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at this in, in another time frame. So this is my 15 minute drawings on my one minute chart. And I was hoping for this comp complex inverted head and shoulders, but that's officially off the table with the after hours. Unless the price bounces back up to where it started, we're gonna see this gap down on, on opening tomorrow morning. And, and that price won't be within that inverted head and shoulders range. What it will do is confirm uh, a head and shoulders top, which is, you know, not what I want to see, ideally. And uh, that would bring us to another price target. Let's see here. That's the broadening top, and this one's the head and shoulder at 32.78. Wow. This is getting really spicy. <laughs> I'll have to watch the after hours today. 
This kind of volatility in after hours, though, historically speaking, is typically when we start to see the big runs in AMC. Closing thought, this was my Fibonacci time study, and November 9th was the day that the study suggested that the next run would begin. That definitely hasn't proven true. We've had two days of just red, solid price action. I mean, the volume is low, but it is doing damage to the RSI. The MACD is starting to turn down as well. So shots fired for sure. It still doesn't break the bull trend. Um, you know, we still have higher highs and higher lows. So that might form a rising wedge. That wouldn't be good either. Yikes. Maybe I should do that analysis. I'll have to work on that. Nonetheless, it's about to get really interesting and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to forecast what comes next, but I think I can say the level of uncertainty has certainly never been quite this high.